at first glance a problem like this might seem a little bit more difficult but if we look at it and we think about it it's it's actually no different than when we uh, looked at parabolas before when we were dealing with vertex forms so let's just write out the standard form for an equation in vertex form the standard form is uh, or I shouldn't say the standard form the vertex form of a quadratic is y minus uh, k is equal to a times x minus h squared and just to recall um, h and k are the vertex so we have h comma k those are the vertex alright so with this one it's a little bit different because this parabola is on its side right here so we, we could go through and we could put this in but it's actually slightly rotated so we'll talk about that in just a minute but um, with this we're going to have uh, y minus and we're going to get our k value right here from this ordered pair right there and that's going to be 3 is equal to a times x minus 1 which is the x coordinate of that vertex squared and the thing with this is we don't know what the a value is and it's also rotated on its side it's not a standard parabola that we look at but um, if we just do some uh, some thinking about this uh, we can we can go through and we can figure this out a little bit easier okay first of all you'll notice when it's flipped like this really the x and the y coordinates are flipped so it's it's they're choosing something slightly different the other thing is this parabola opens in the positive direction along the x so that coefficient has to be positive out in front because if we have a squared term right here um, whenever we square a number that's going to make it positive and the only way that stays positive that dominating uh, uh, variable right there that coefficient also has to be positive in order for that to happen so we can we can automatically rule out that it's going to be in terms of y like this so just by some simple elimination we know that that has to be a positive 0.5 but we're not sure which one so you know the easy way to think of it is well if we're gonna flip this this is really gonna become x minus h is equal to some a times y minus k squared so all I'm doing is flipping or transforming the uh, the equation from what it was alright so this is going to be x minus 1 is equal to a times y minus 3 squared and when we do that we can move the one to the other side add one to both sides add one and add one and then it's x is equal to a times y minus 3 squared plus 1 alright and there's only one equation that satisfies us and this happens to be or one answer choice that satisfies us and it happens to be this one right here alright the other one the problem is with the sign right here alright we gotta keep it in that that format right here y minus k and x minus h so if we flip the uh, the x and the y um, uh, components of this we need to make sure we carry the signs through with them alright so this would be our answer choice for this